For the Wildcats, it's been 234 days filled with hard work, sweat, and determination. Led by the desire to prove once again that they are amongst college basketball's elite. Today's challenge, the Hartford Hawks. Led by 18 points from junior forward Mary Gadeka, the Cats cruise to a 59-41 opening night victory. With their first win of the season behind them, it's time to get back to work. Just got a new uh, strength and conditioning coach, Kevin, and he's amazing. He brings incredible energy to our program, and you know he has such a positive attitude. He works so hard with us, and no matter what, we have 6:45 a.m. lifts three times a week this time of year and he is, you would think it's like the middle of the day. He has such great energy. He's, he's really amazing and a great asset to our program. For me, I'm going to look at the athletes holistically and look at their strength, their conditioning, their nutrition, their recovery, try to implement a plan for every athlete individually. Really, at the end of the day, my number one goal is to make sure that every athlete is prepared and is ready to play at a high level and they always put emphasis on it's bigger than basketball. I think that's something Villanova does too. Really incorporating that it's not just about how you own the court, it's all the little things behind the scenes that add up to your performance. So they always stress that, not just in basketball, but just our general well-being in life. They like to switch up their workouts a lot. So we have certain players that Adriana Hahn, for example, loves to get in the swimming pool. She's been doing a lot of swim workouts. Um, the kids really like hot yoga, Pilates, um, so it's not just basketball, it's not just workouts in the weight room. They really try to diversify what they're doing and try to, you know, work on different muscle groups and um, so they take advantage of all the opportunities and the resources that we have here at Villanova. Getting the right amount of sleep, eating the healthy foods, doing not just basketball exercises but other areas that can incorporate onto the court as well, like hot yoga, like swimming like Pilates. Um, it, it's, we, all, we all do Pilates, it's really fun. And these are some things that I never have tried before I went to uh, college. When it comes to the, the strength and conditioning side, some, ba some specific basketball exercises that I like to do, I like to work with a lot of resistance bands. Three, two, two, down, bring it up. One, two, down, ready. I think female athletes, it, if somebody hasn't lifted weights, it's less intimidating. So we'll do a lot of on-court work with resistance bands, which will help with their change of direction, help with their speed, uh, reduce the chances of injury. So we'll implement a lot of those strategies into the training. Also kettlebells, I think kettlebells are a fantastic tool to use. We have them uh, on site here where it works on your power, your mobility, your strength, your ability to be a little bit more explosive. Because really, the, the, the stronger you are, the more explosive you are, the better your mobility and your flexibility is, you're gonna, it's gonna have a better carryover to on court. Good, 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 now let yourself slow. Good, excellent. Looking to secure their first road win of the season, the Wildcats travel to Bethlehem, Pennsylvania for a matchup against the Lehigh Mountain Hawks. Today was a really good win for us. We beat Hartford and that was our momentum coming into this game. But yeah, Harry's offense, sets us up really nicely to get shots off, and I think we did a really good job as a team getting shots off.
Coming off a 70-48 win against Lehigh, the Wildcats return home for their first Big Five matchup against the Explorers for LaSalle before heading to Orlando for Thanksgiving Weekend Classic that features the Virginia Tech Hokies and the UCF Knights. Catch all of that next time on Kicking It With The Cats.